Next, we have oh. alertness. <laughs> In order to learn, you've got to be alert, right? It's, it's not rocket science. But here's the thing. If, you, if, you're, if you're not fully focused on a task, then you're going to have a harder time retaining that information. Activating our body's fight or flight system or activating our sympathetic nervous system, as it's also known, results in the release of things like adrenaline and noradrenaline. And amongst other things, that will increase our alertness. So what are some other things that we can do to increase our fight or flight system? Because obviously we can't go around <laughs> blasting air horns all the time. Well, again, exercise, bit of a recurring theme here. Um, you can do certain breathing techniques like Wim Hof breathing. Uh, you can even end your shower with a bit of a cold blast of water because that will certainly make you feel very alert. And we also know that stress will do the same thing. So we know that if you sit down to learn after a small stressor, like this, for example, um, that will enhance your learning. You can have too much stress, though, as you can see that I'm experiencing right now. So when you've been experiencing long-term stress or chronic stress, it physically changes our brain and it causes issues with learning and memory. So if you have been experiencing stress for a long period of time, you will have impairments in memory. It is that simple. So do be kind to yourself. But little bits of stress are good. They actually help you reach peak performance. And we know that having a little bit of an um, increase in adrenaline after a learning task will actually enhance your learning as well. Now, you can also ingest substances to enhance your alertness, things like caffeine. And there's um, a growing body of evidence now that shows that having caffeine before a learning task or actually just being a regular caffeine drinker can enhance your learning and memory through um, a range of different mechanisms in the brain. We know that, for example, if you, um, if you eat, you are less alert because that's switching off our fight or flight system. So maybe don't sit down to study after a big meal. There's also a limit to our alertness as well. So it's still a little bit contentious, but Studies have shown that we are constantly going through what we call an old trade-in rhythm. So about every 90 minutes, we're going in and out of peak alertness. So the reality is you can't be 100% alert all the time, and it's going to be a chunk of about 8 to 30 minutes in the middle there where you'll be most alert. Now, another thing for alertness is sleep. Yes, <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you haven't been sleeping, then yes, you won't be as alert. But sleep is really important for learning for another reason.